Hi boys and girls, for ALU activity B, you're gonna need your American symbol sorting paper, and you're also gonna need this writing paper right here. Now, remember it's really important that you have your rubric out and ready to make sure to, that you're uh, doing what you need to do and doing everything that you can do to accomplish the got it and moving to the expert on our rubric. You're also gonna need a pencil and a pair of scissors. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get out this sorting paper. And this says US symbols and not US symbols. Your job is to look at these pictures. You're gonna cut them out and glue them where you think they belong. So do you think a heart is an American symbol? If you think the heart is a US symbol, you're gonna put it here. But if it's not, you're gonna put it here. I want you to think hard because I'm not really sure if a heart represents the USA. All right, this activity might not take you very long, but what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you really understand the American symbols. You're gonna to go to the got it section on your rubric and right here it says, I can name three American symbols. There are three American symbols on this paper and you're gonna do your best to see if you can identify all of them to be a got it. Under, um, under the got it section, it also says that I can explain why symbols are important to America. So after you're done the sorting and figuring out three symbols, you're gonna get this paper. It might be stapled together with your paper or just might be in the same bucket, but you wanna make sure you get this one too. What you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a picture of one American symbol, one that you really like or that you wanna learn more about. Then on down here, you're gonna write me a sentence telling why that symbol is important. Now, if you need to go to the write the room activity and scan the codes that are on your classroom to help you with this, this activity, absolutely, of course, you can do that. But remember, what makes a fabulous sentence? All right, boys and girls, that's it. Have fun.